A frightening chapter in the lives of Jen and Eric Dory are officially behind them. We don't know what we normally do. Now married and living in Gold Hill, the Dorys did not want a trial. Instead, hoping to put the horrific night of November 1st, 2011 behind them. That's when police say Miguel Carbajal and Francisco Campos and two other men fired three shots at total strangers. Eric Dory was shot in his car and hit in the jaw. Jen was grazed by a bullet. They are trying to move on with their lives. They, uh, the, Eric Dory has recovered very well from his injuries, and I think they're just trying to kind of get their lives back together. Acting on their wishes, Chief Deputy DA Beth Heckert arranged a plea deal in Jackson County Circuit Court today. 20-year-old Carbajal, the driver of the vehicle that fateful November night, will serve 15 years after pleading guilty to aiding and abetting, as well as manslaughter and the death of 16-year-old Gustavo Santiago, who was ejected from the vehicle while fleeing police. He died instantly. It just looks mangled. Santiago's mother was in court today. 19-year-old Campos pleaded no contest to conspiracy to commit murder. He'll get 12 years. We got his fingerprint off back on that. Um, gun. Gabriel Perez, the only other man in the car that night, wasn't charged due to a lack of evidence. With little she could prove and a lack of cooperation from the defendants, Heckert was happy with the plea deal. Fortunately, so too were the Dorries, the victims of a shooting that changed their lives forever. Now able to move on without having to sit through an emotionally draining trial. In Medford, Craig Smullen, NBC5 News.